Hey friends, today in this video we will learn how to secure our computers without using any third party antivirus software in Windows 11 machine. So there is a uh, built in features in Windows 11 that is Windows security that we will use to securing our computer. So I will go on the Windows security by searching this inside the search options in Windows 11. Now you can see there are the multiple options are available inside this windows security. So first we will go on the virus and threat protections. In the virus and threat protections you have the options like uh, what exactly you want to scan and uh, like uh, some of the files which you think like this is uh, like, uh, uh, like a genuine files but it's detecting as a uh, virus so you can just allow the threats allow the files as well and even you can make the exclusion inside the virus and threat pro protection so there are the multiple options and multiple features are already available in your windows security for virus and threat protection so you can just control and you can just configure as per your requirement so first i'm going to show you like scan options so inside the scan options there are the uh, there are the multiple types of scans are available including like quick scan full scan custom scan suppose you want to scan a specific folder or file so you need to just select the custom scan so if i am going to select the custom scan and i am going to click on the scan now so this will ask the location where you just want to start the scanning so you need to select the folder where you want to start the scanning now i am going to select the quick scan so this will check folders in your system where threats are commonly found including like uh, c drive or some other files like temp folders so this will start the quick scanning over here and here this will give the result like uh, how much time this has just scanned and how many files have been scanned as well so i am going to click on the quick scan now the scanning has been begun and you can see the files are counted over here and uh, the time remaining is also mentioning over here so we need to wait for a while so once this scanning will done so you will get the complete details including the uh, times which has just taken for the scanning as well as the number of files which are scanned now inside the virus and scan virus and threat protections you have the options including like uh, manage settings in the manage settings you want to just configure like real-time protection so you need to put it over here and uh, similarly you want to make an exclusion so scroll it down and go inside the exclusions and add or remove exclusions so you will prompt it like do you want to allow this apps to make changes to your device click yes and now you can add the exclusion files folder file type or any specific process that you want to uh, to make an exclusion if you are aware about the files which is genuine but it's detecting as an like uh, virus so you can make an exclusions inside the virus and threat protections as well now i will go again on the virus and threat protection and here you can even set up for ransomware protection so your files will be saved on your uh, onedrive so you need to set up your onedrive with your uh, uh, hotmail account or microsoft account over here and also you can control the manage ransomware protection so there are the, some certain uh, like options including protect files folders memory areas on your device from unauthorized changes by unfriendly applications so in case if some of the files are getting just renamed uh, renamed quickly so you can make it on so your file will not be renamed so this will give the complete history over here as well and you can also allow any specific applications through controlled folders access as well so this is what virus and threat protections even there are some other options are also available over here inside that uh, temper protections currently this is on now you have the options including like firewall and network protections so inside the firewall and network protections you can allow some certain uh, like uh, networks including domain network if you want to allow the firewall on domain so you need to put it on for the domain network private network and public network so currently firewall is on for my complete three types of networks including domain network private network and public network as well here you can allow an, an app through firewall as well 
now you can see these all are the applications which are currently allowed inside the private or public as well if you want to change it so click on the change settings and then you can make the changes as per your requirement now you have the options of app and browser control here you can control your applications including smart app control settings currently it's off similarly if i go on the app browser control again and here you can change the exploit protections and uh, install microsoft defender applications guard so this is uh, also an applications which will help you to control the like uh, like uh, browser related things so you can click over here uh, reputation based protection settings here you can just control as per your requirement like uh, phishing protection smart screen for microsoft as check apps and files so these all are currently enabled you can make the changes as per your requirement now inside the device security you can just control like core isolation including data encryptions like if you want to to enable the manage bit locker so click over here and turn it on so in case if your hard drive got stolen so no one can access the data uh, from your hard drive without knowing the bit locker recovery id similarly like device performance and health you can control over here like uh, there is no storage related uh, issues are so here you can control what exactly you have the error including like if your hard drive got uh, like uh, like full so you can see the health report from here including your apps and windows time services as well like uh, protection history so these all are the protection histories in case of any any like uh, virus attack happened so how you can control so you can just mention over here by selecting here now you can take the actions like if you if you know like this file is important for us so you can allow or you can uh, block as well so as of now this is blocked so i don't want to allow it because i know that this is on a virus file and uh, similarly like remediation in incomplete so this is uh, like uh, affected item so this completely gives the location of the files which are affected inside the protection history so so these all are the method which you can follow inside your windows security and you don't require any third party antivirus to protect your windows 11 machine thank you for watching this video